things, right. but we're going to see how that game actually played out. Starts off. You know, we're talking about Sejuani not being able to duel, but uh, Kez, happy to fight people right now, but both millionaires have their ultimates, which makes it a pretty explosive battle. Yeah, she's got some skirmish power, both junglers not level 6 yet though, and both mid laners actually pick up the first kills of the game. Trade back and forth, but Seraph, level 12, absolutely destroying people, lands a stun, a lot of damage here onto Rux, doesn't actually douge himself forward though, so he could have maybe gotten an extra attack on Rux, but here he's like, okay, I can flash E, and down you go. Yep. The Trinity Force power spike onto Seraph on that Aurelia really knows how to duel on these characters. He starts backing, cancels it, starts his TP, and gets out right as Impaler on Burrows. Yeah, that quarter second decision making to keep himself alive. This is actually really cute. So, stuns Gate, spams some Qs. Okay, dodge away. Keep dodging away. I'm by the ghost. Crap. Okay, dodge away again. All right. Now into the brush. I need to stun you. Hut! Heal with two attacks. Q for more health. And Gate gives up and there because he had used out. his W. Yeah, but Veritas gets him anyway. Yep, the swag so much there. effort. And look at this. Kez tries to start the engage, misses. Kyle zones them off, and everybody's out of this fight, and they ditch Impaler. Rux shows up late when Impaler is already dead, throws down the ultimate. It's a good equalizer, and Kyle is forced off to the left. But right here, Gate ultying onto Smoothie. The support with only 200 HP and blowing his own flash was what made this fight go in TDK's favor. You can see TDK is actually down before this fight starts. Mm -hmm. And this is what got them into the game. Now, Kez, this was a huge fight for them to help them start closing out the game. Five man Sejuani ultimate there. Veritas is the only person who immediately QSS and runs out of the fight. But Seraph just chases him out even further and <laughs> makes it so he has nothing to say there. Swaggle, and here we go. Final five looking for a Baron attempt. Maybe they can bring themselves back into the game. Kez goes in for the Baron steal, and TDK gets it. This equalizer doesn't hit basically anything, and it's a pretty easy to fight to mop up now. TDK starting out with a couple kills, and it's just clean up now for Seraph. And Kyle flashes into the pit to get the slicing Maelstrom on that back line that was still trying to do the Baron. Really, really good play there. And then Rux, like you said, his equalizer was basically for scuttle crab damage at that point. And that's going to be a 46-minute Nexus TDK in a very closely fought game. Final Five did start out well early. The Veritas sheep lane did pretty okay. 5-3 and 4 on the AD carry. Kyle doesn't get his Jace, but uh, his cannon sure is all pretty impressive.